Your doctor has recommended that you have surgery to repair a torn rotator cuff. But what does that actually mean? Rotator cuff is the term given to describe a group of four tendons that work together to support and stabilize the shoulder joint. Each tendon connects muscle to bone. When a shoulder muscle contracts, it pulls on a tendon which in turn pulls on the upper arm bone and causes it to move. When one or more of these tendons become damaged, the arm loses strength and mobility. Surgical procedures performed by making an incision large enough to expose the entire operative area are called open procedures. Your doctor believes that your medical condition and overall state of health make you a good candidate for less intrusive, closed arthroscopic surgery. However, it is important to understand that during the procedure, your surgical team is always prepared to convert an arthroscopic procedure to an open procedure, should they feel that your condition requires a more direct approach. That means that even though you'll enter the operating room expecting to undergo an arthroscopic closed procedure, there is always the chance, however remote, that your surgical team will find it necessary to perform an open procedure instead. To perform arthroscopic surgery, your doctor will make three small buttonhole size incisions in the area around the shoulder. An arthroscope is essentially a very small video camera that your doctor will use to guide the surgery. Before your doctor can insert the arthroscope, the surgical team will inject a clear fluid into the joint. This fluid will inflate the interior space around the surgical site and will help your doctor by providing an unobstructed view and enough room in which to work. Your doctor will insert the arthroscope and inspect the surgical site. If he or she decides that the team can proceed with the arthroscopic procedure, other small surgical instruments will be inserted through the other small openings. First, your doctor will use a burr to file away any rough edges on the upper part of the shoulder bone, called the acromion. Under the deltoid muscle lies the bursa, a protective sac that prevents the rotator cuff tendons and the shoulder muscles from rubbing against each other. Using a shaving instrument, your doctor will cut away the bursa to gain access to the damaged tendons. Next, the surgeon will cut away any scar tissue or unhealthy tissue around the torn area. Using sutures, the tear can now be repaired. One instrument places the sutures, and then a second instrument fixes them in place. When your doctor is satisfied that all possible repair has been completed, the instruments are removed and the clear fluid is allowed to drain from the shoulder. Finally, a sterile bandage is applied. In order to keep the shoulder muscle immobile while it heals, you'll be given a sling to wear.